Oh guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And Ark just released a massive update and they included a few spoilers that people didn't really notice yet, but I'm gonna show you a few things and why you should look forward to playing Scorched Earth that releases tomorrow. I'm stoked and uh, yeah, I'll kind of break down a few of these things that maybe you have seen, maybe you haven't seen, but it's going to make, I mean, this is where ARC starts to make a comeback. A lot of people have noticed that the ARC player count has dropped significantly. There's only about 12,000 active players at any given time, whereas ARC Survival Evolved is setting about 30 to 40. So big difference. Now, the reason really, the only major reason that that's a thing for those of you that aren't really you know, paying attention to this. There's only one map in Ark Survival. That's it. Ascended has one map. It's the island. People can't switch in when they can. It's like it's boring island. I love the island because it's the original map that I play on. But honestly, it sucks. It's it's not a map that has a bunch of the stuff that people want. The content on it is very limited and there's not a whole lot of challenge, right? It's just it is what it is. It's the island. We played on it for years when uh, the Ark first came out. We want new maps. We want content that we can jump around to. And that's what they're starting to do. Not only are they releasing these new content maps, you can see that they have Scorched Earth coming out ascended. They're adding new creatures, the Fastless Succus, the, the giant turtle creature, trains, all kinds of stuff like that. Now, there is a little bit of a negative, but I'll talk about that in just a second. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for that algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel for some more survival arc game content. Now, Obviously, you can see this right here. So we can get the apparent size off of the you got a jug bug in the background. So these obviously are going to be a rideable creature because they are a little bit bigger, but they're not massive creatures. They're probably going to qualify as a mid-sized creature. And obviously, we know that some of their abilities, if you go to their actual uh, dossier. But here's what I kind of wanted people to focus on, right? So there is quite a bit here that people aren't really noticing. So obviously you've got some sort of city in the background over here. People haven't really paid attention to this one yet. If you click on it, right, I can go ahead and look at it and see that there's some sort of city or some sort of, I don't know if you want to call it like a gladiator ring because you got the wyverns over there. You've got the electric wyvern, you've got the poison wyvern. I don't, I assume this is a fire wyvern now from the distance. Obviously you've got the golem coming back. You've got the worms per usual. There's the Fasilosuchus that we see. Um, here are some of the animated skins. It looks like they're adding those in. They do not have the Oasisaur in this actual image, which is kind of uh, unfortunate because I think it would be really cool to have something like that in there. But, you know, it is what it is. So obviously most of your generic things for Scorched Earth are coming back. If you never played Scorched Earth, it is a fantastic map. It is very hard. You're more likely to survive as a nomadic person than having a massive base because of the heat waves, the cancellation of electronics, which can be a big pain in the butt, and a few other factors that you'll learn that are not great, right? Heat waves are going to melt you. Uh, wyverns occasionally fly around the map and just annihilate you instead of just going into the Wyvern Canyon. And then you've got a few other things that cause problems. I don't know how the Fazila Succus are going to uh, kind of like fit into this meta, but adding things like trains, right? Getting from point A to point B on a train is going to be super freaking awesome. I don't know why they didn't add this in their, their trailer for this one, you know, but it is what it is. And then adding those massive Oasisaurs is going to be a huge thing. The only negative that I can confirm for people that are kind of a little bit concerned are that it looks as if there is going to be some sort of true battle pass. We know there is. I don't know what it's going to be. But um, I do know for a fact, because I've seen it, that there is a battle pass. I'm not totally sure what it's going to, what's going to be locked behind that content. If it's just going to be skins or if it's going to be actual in-game content as well. We're going to find out a little bit more, obviously, tomorrow as they release it. Some people are like, oh, we already know. We don't know anything until they officially push it out. I want to remind people that until ARK actually puts it in a playable form in front of us, they have made so many changes. I, to be fair, they, some of the changes are warranted. Some are not, but some are. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, we're in for, I mean, there's gonna be some unhappy people, but to be completely fair, if it's running well, if it looks good and it adds a whole bunch of new content, I'm fine paying a couple of bucks for, uh, for updated stuff. So keep that in mind. So anyways, that's my opinion. That's kind of like those things that I'm curious about. Obviously you can see the Phoenix. If you haven't unlocked a Phoenix before, they're a lot of fun. So 
Obviously, you can see the negative side. People are freaking out about this. The Sunday is not what they're going to do, releasing it on Monday. The reason they're doing that is because it's it's Easter. And they obviously, I know they might be using it as an excuse, but they originally planned on April 1st and then moved it to the 31st and then move it back. So I don't think anyone should be really super upset about that. Um, obviously, you can see this is a big one. You're only going to be able to bring your characters for 60 days, and then you can't bring any dinos or items. And after the first 60 days, they're going to open it up for everything, which, in my opinion, isn't enough time to truly get ready. Um, but 60 days is 60 days. So hopefully some people take advantage of that. Um, and on this also, if you haven't seen this yet, arc behind the scenes, if you haven't watched the animated series yet, it's really good. Um, kind of take your pre preconceived notions of arc and throw them out the window because it's very different from what you're going to anticipate there are a few creatures that you enjoy and love but uh there's definitely some major changes so keep an eye on that now obviously you can see custom cosmetics is a thing there's a whole bunch of new stuff you saw that there's a little bit of a surprise easter thing with a whole bunch of dino colors there's no special event it's just an excellent rate which kind of sucks personal opinion but you know it is what it is and uh, obviously you got the usual content. You got a whole bunch of pictures. I wish some of these people would reach out to me because I would love to have them do some artwork for me. Like, this is so cool. Like, that's awesome. Even that's super cool. A lot of this stuff, I'm just impressed with what people are able to accomplish, including this. This is just, yeah, some of this stuff, man. I would love to figure out how to be that good at it. But anyways, besides the point, um, some other things that people want to be aware of when it comes out to actually seeing what's coming out with Scorched Earth, right? So Scorched Earth, obviously, you've got the Battle Pass. It's going to have a bunch of game-changing metas. Tra cha literally, trains and Oasisaurs are going to change everything. I don't know what Vasilisakis are going to totally do, because we have to kind of get, get on them and figure out what they're capable of before we make any statements on that. But yeah, it is what it is. So anyways, uh, yeah, Scorched Earth, big, big change. Be aware that it's going to shake up a lot. It's going to piss a few people off, but I think overall it's going to hit pretty, pretty solidly. And I think that people are going to be shocked that they enjoy it. Yes, again, people are like, well, I'm paying again for blah, blah, blah. In order to pay or play a game nowadays, it's games are as a service, basically. And it's like, hey, if you're going to make good content, I'll throw some bucks at it. That's all it comes down to. If, if it's good content, I'll, I'll pay for it. So... Just be aware of that. That's all I got to add to it. But I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm going to be playing the crap out of it for the next few weeks, at least. Um, I love Scorched Earth. I don't know why people don't. It's it's a challenge, and I think that's why people dislike it, because it's a very difficult map to survive on. But it is a lot of fun. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. If you don't mind, smash that like button. Leave a comment below for that algorithm. And then consider subbing to the channel. And then hopefully I can help you out with some more awesome car art content. So anyways, other than that, teach.